everybody, welcome back to Renee and Lady. If you've reached this video, either you saw my postpartum care kit part one video, or you've heard of pad sickle and you're exploring it to see a little bit more about it. There are a few things that you're going to need in order to make these pad sickles. One, you'll need witch hazel. The thing you're gonna need is aloe vera gel. The third thing you're going to need is some overnight maxi pads. Um, these I got the extra heavy overnighters because they're huge and they make for great coverage. Third thing um, is a storage bag, like a Ziploc bag or a container for you to put the pad tickles in to go into your freezer so no one messes with them. And then last but not least, a spoon. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're gonna take your pad and you're going to open it up. And since this one is an overnight pad, it's extra long. So that's the reason why it's so long. oil on here like a, a lavender oil to make it smell good but I didn't want any type of oils down there that, that could irritate my skin. So next you take your witch hazel take is your olive oil gel you put that in a spoon and you spread that as well takes to make these pad sickles. So now what you're going to do is fold these tabs back so that you can put this little plastic piece back on. The next step is you take your Ziploc bag, put it in there. Which when I made mine, I had a super huge Ziploc bag and I put a lot of these in it. But I let the air out seal it. Then what you'll do is you'll put it into the freezer before you go into labor, uh, maybe a few days, and it will freeze up and it will get so good and cold. And then when you get home from having your baby, you have these nice little pad sickles that you can go into the freezer, pop them out, and take them into the restroom with you when you get ready to clean and, and do all of your do. And then you put these on and they feel so good. Um, it helps with the itching, the healing. It just helps with the whole healing process. And, if you haven't looked it up, look up what olive oil gel and witch hazel does for your body. Um, it's all very, 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 very good for you. Whatever you do, make sure you get the alcohol-free witch hazel because you don't want anything to irritate your skin down there. And that's how you make your pad sickles. Super easy, really convenient, and they stay in the freezer for a long while if you don't use them. A great benefit to postpartum healing and just great all around. If you all like this video, please thumbs up. Don't forget to comment if you have any type of questions or concerns. And don't forget to share this video because you never know who might need it out there. And last but not least, do not forget to subscribe. All right, we'll see you all next week for another new video. Thanks for coming and watching. Bye.